بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته So now we're going to speak about an important sunnah of our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that sunnah is to feed people. Continuing on from yesterday, we spoke about sadaqah, charity. Today we're speaking about a type of charity, which is feeding people. And I just want to say before I start my topic, MashaAllah and congratulations to the brothers on the Gold Coast. MashaAllah. There are plenty of brothers here that have the quality and they follow the sunnah of feeding people. MashaAllah. May Allah reward the brothers who feed others during the month of Ramadan and outside the month of Ramadan. I get offered food almost every day. May Allah bless the brothers. And of course the mosque itself is catering iftar every single night. For 29 or 30 days there's going to be iftar at this masjid. May Allah increase the barakah of this masjid and the people that are involved. Ameen. Now when we feed people, we have to follow a very important ayah in the Qur'an. إِنَّمَا نُطْعِمُكُمْ لِوَجْهِ اللَّهِ لَا نُرِيدُ مِنْكُمْ جَزَاءً وَلَا شُكُورًا That verily we feed you for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we don't want from you and we don't wish from you any reward or any gratitude it is for Allah but when people give charity these days what they think is charity I gave your son something so you have to give my son something I fed you so you have to feed me I gave you money when you were in need now I'm in need I need the money back what you're doing you're just giving someone food and you're creating a problem for them the next day when you give give for the sake of Allah Follow the ayah in the Qur'an. Don't do it for a reward from people. Why from people? You want a reward from somebody? You give butter chicken, they're going to give you lamb korma? What's the point? Do it for Allah. Take the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we don't want thank you. Of course, you must thank the people who serve you. The people who give you, you must thank them. But we don't want the thank. We want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And remember one other thing. When we give... Remember, إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الرزاق. Don't feel arrogant when you give. Oh, I fed so and so. I gave so and so. Allah is الرزاق, not you. Allah is الرزاق and Allah used you to give His slave rizq, sustenance. You didn't do it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did. So don't see yourself as the giver. And don't differentiate between people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sustains the Muslims and the kuffar. Right? So who are we to say, oh, this person doesn't deserve. When we talk about our Muslim brothers, this person's from this country, I don't want to help. I don't want to feed. Feed people. Period. Barakallahu feekum. And just one more thing. Alhamdulillah, we have water when we're drinking in between taraweeh. This is a fiqh matter. This is a ruling in the religion that we have to be mindful of when we drink water water gets on our mustache for the men okay so when the water is on the mustache we have to be careful when we start the prayer that we don't slurp it up because that will break our salah that will break our prayer so when you drink water make sure that around your mouth is dry before you pray Okay, and if there's water in your mouth while you're in salah from what you drank, then of course that's different. But if it comes from outside, then I will break your prayer. So be mindful of that, dear brothers. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.